Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are with me in the building today and those of you who are online. I'm delighted to be able to share a reflection today. Uh, my name is Naomi Tuma and I'm a curate here at St. Peter Mancroft. If you watch regularly, you'll notice that we have a slightly different format today because I wanted to show you my ideas tree. And a little, I'll have to stay near her, but I'll point to it. <laughs> A little bit about the ideas tree. So our ideas tree came about as a group of us got together to think about the cost of living crisis. And I know we're maybe a little bit slower off the mark than other places and other charities, but we wanted to do something to respond to the cost of living. And a group of us got together to see what we could do. And first of all, we thought, well, maybe we can offer a warm space. But then it turns out that actually it's quite chilly in church and there's lots of warm spaces locally, not least the Forum across the road or St. Peter Mancroft on the other side of Theatre Street. So no, a warm place was not the thing to do. And then we thought, well, maybe we could provide food. But again, we did a bit of research and discovered that Norwich has lots of places that offer free food to those people in desperate need of food. So food wasn't the way to go. And then we thought, well, maybe advice and information. And again, looking around, and we remember that we are opposite the Forum, and the Forum has a Citizens Advice Bureau, so perhaps we shouldn't attempt to offer advice, as it's very much available there. So we put our heads together, and we sat, and we thought, and we prayed. And we thought, well, what do we have to offer? And here at St. Peter Mancroft's, we have a congregation who are incredibly wise, and some of them are quite old. <laughs> but what we have within the congregation is a lot of people who've had a lot of life experience. Some members of our congregation can remember rationing in the post-war period. Some members of our congregation can remember going through the recessions of the um, 70s and 80s. Many people in our congregation have got lots and lots of life experience. So we thought, well, what about, rather than finding official advice and information, like from the BBC or the government, why don't we collect advice and experience from those people who've been through difficult times already, from those people who know how to get through difficult times? And so we came up with the idea of an ideas tree. So this tree has four different sides to it. And one side asks, what resources have you found useful? What charities? What information? Another side says, what things have you done to save money? What practical ideas have you implemented in your life that has made a difference? And another side just says, what would you say to somebody who's facing hard times? What encouragement would you give them? Would you say to them, just keep going, we've been here before. This is not the first time the nation has faced difficulties. And so I would invite you, if you're here today, to, when I've finished, come and take a leaf and write your advice and your support and your encouragement on our ideas tree. And then next weekend, um, and we're going to gather up all the advice and make it into a little booklet for people. And on Sunday morning, we're going to invite the congregation to add their ideas to our tree. One of the things that inspired us to come up with this ideas tree was the gospel story of Jesus feeding the 5,000. Many of us know this story. It's a, it's a schoolyard classic, as it were. But anyway, this... The gospel story is that Jesus and his disciples were up in the mountains teaching. And he taught all day. He did like to talk, did Jesus. So he talked and he talked and he talked. And it got to evening. And he had 5,000 people stood around, all hungry. And he said to his disciples, right, you feed these people. And they went, but that would take months of wages. We haven't got that kind of money. We can't feed these 5,000 people. What are you expecting us to do? And then one little boy 
said, well, he said the equivalent of, I've got a couple of tuna sandwiches. <laughs> the Bible story says five loaves and two fishes, but I like to think of it as a couple of tuna sandwiches. I've got a couple of tuna sandwiches. Will that help? And Jesus took the little boy's lunch and he gave thanks to God for it. And then he shared it. And 5,000 people were fed. Now, depending on your theology, you may think, wow, that was a straightforward miracle. Jesus multiplied the fishes and the bread. Or you may think, wow, that was a miracle because the boy's generosity inspired everybody else to share. And so that example of sharing meant that everybody was fed. Or you may think, oh well, it's just a nice Bible story and has no rootedness in reality. It doesn't necessarily matter because what's important is that when we take what little we have, and here in St. Peter Mangrove that might be advice, that might be experience, or that might be something else. But when we take what little we have and offer it to God, when we share what we have, then God uses it for good. God uses it to do good. And so I know that this little ideas tree is not going to solve the cost of living crisis, but it might help one person. It might encourage one person a little bit along the way. It might open doors to somebody who didn't see where they could get help. And I think as we face this cost of life crisis, one of the things I'm interested in, in the way that Emma, who designed this tree for us, designed it, she was really keen that we had roots on it. So it, the tree has got roots on it. What are our roots? And I think those roots that we can get support from are community and their faith. So we need to turn to each other in community and ask for help when we need it. It's not wrong to ask for help. We have to get over our pride and be willing to ask for help. And it's not wrong to offer help, even if you feel it's a tiny little thing that won't make any difference. Actually, a tuna sandwich can go a long way. So thank you for listening here in the church today and online. And I encourage you, if you're online, to email me or write comments in the thing if you want to add something to our ideas tree. Or if you're here in the building, and I will chase you because I can see you, <laughs> to come and take a leaf and to add your ideas and your encouragement to our ideas tree. Thank you very much.